So what we see is the patent office is trying to break the Alice Mayo test down into a series of binary questions so that examiners can apply them in some kind of objective way. Now that brings us to one of the latest decisions, which is the Athena case. And Bob, I wanna to turn to you first because you have some opinions about where we are now after Athena. Um, I do have some concerns with what happens to the January 7th, 2019 guidelines now that we have the Athena case, which came out after the guidelines had issued. So I, I am well aware, having done rules at the PTO myself as commissioner, that um, these particular rules are not substantive rulemaking. Um, they, are, they are not applicable to the courts. The examiners, and in this instance, the PTAB, are required by the actual guidelines themselves to follow the guidelines. But the courts are not. And after uh, the majority in, uh, in the Athena case uh, it, it determined that, in fact, uh, uh, they were not uh, allowed to uh, allow the claims based upon Supreme Court precedents, they dropped a, a footnote, footnote four, where they basically lamented the fact that they couldn't hold in a different manner. Um, and so that's causing me a little bit of concern that they may not adopt the, the guidelines themselves. 